oil, it is really the, it moves uh, uh, the economy uh, and the entire uh, trade and commerce of the entire world. Alam mo, <clears throat> you can, baski saan ka maghanap, it's oil actually. Itong sahig, then the roofing and the selling and even this, ito, it's being manufactured by machineries, uh, big ones, yung mga factory na. Uh, but what moves the movement there? Saan ka mag maghanap, but it's a product of oil kasi... Uh, oil, uh, pinapagana yung mga equipment, the machines in a factory that produces everything. Lahat na itong magamit, paggawa nito, paggawa nito, it's uh, oil because hindi naman tatakbo yung uh, makina nila sa factory kung walang oil. It's the energy actually. Kaya we are not yet uh, dito sa nuclear uh, level, but I hope that uh, the next administration would at least uh, explore now the possibility of to nuclear. Uh, uh, total ang nagkumpisa naman nito kasi Marcos noon. Uh, nagpagawa siya ng... Nuclear plant, but uh, uh, ano, you know, oil is not infinite. May katapusan yan. Uh, someday it will dry up. It would be good for any government to prepare the possibility of making the transition earlier uh, from oil, yung fossil fuel, to nuclear kasi uh, nuclear is forever kaya lang medyo ma delikado to uh, you know kagaya na sa Chernobyl ng Ukraine nagkaroon ng leak and so there was this radiation uh, matbutit na lang all nations contributed to the control or fixing the Chernobyl including Russia, which is now attacking Ukraine. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.